Okay, here I am showing how to clean a paint roller after you're done with it. You, uh, it's really important to clean your paint roller and all of your brushes and everything after each use because if you let it dry, the paint hardens and you'll never be able to use this roller, this roller again. So here I am. And uh, it's already been, I've already been cleaning it for about five minutes before I made this video. So it's pretty much clean. And it's fun. This is actually fun. Cleaning your tools can actually be fun. Uh, it's all in the mindset. I used to be so much more impatient than I am now. Like now, I just find like I really, I really enjoy this kind of stuff. Hello. So anyway, here it is. Uh, it's been a really good day. I'm going to walk you around and show you what I've been doing. But first, let me just show you the final touches. So you roll the water out of your roller. Yeah, rolling out of the roller. Rolling, rolling, yeah. And then you're going to store this with a plastic cover over it so that it never actually really dries out. And that way, once it dries, if you've left any paint at all in here, it's going to be it's going to be a little what you call it uh, scratchy on the wall. So you don't want that. Okay, let me get the cover. Uh, thank you for waiting. I'm using a old pasta al formaggio bag to cover it. I like it. And uh, then I put it out on the porch or leave it right here, wherever. Okay, now I am going to show you today's work. It's unbelievable. Okay. Now, I hope you can see it. This is Jean's office. Uh, half of the ceiling has been done. It's white, and um, I've just finished painting the two walls that are going to be painted with this beautiful A crew. And um, I'm going to go like this so I can see it also. Ooh. And the <laughs> yeah, oh, there we go. You can see the difference between that wall that's been painted with a crew and that wall which has been primed and is ready now for wallpapering. So, right now I'm doing this part. This is the hard part, right underneath the radiator. It's very hard to get. So that's the detailing I was telling you about before. Okay. Oh, by the way, this is the view of, this is the view out the office window. It's kind of the, um, it's the northeast side of our building. So this is actually the coldest, coldest part of our house. Uh, here we are, the wall, the hallway, which I don't know if you can see it, but I have been painting the walls and I'm getting ready to do the detailing. And here we are, we don't have a lot of light yet. In fact, there's no light. Oh, yes it is. Uh, but you can't see this, but this is going to be the bedroom. It's had two layers of wallpaper. This has been a huge, huge project, but it's, whew, we're on the final stretch of, uh, we haven't started wallpapering, but I've been priming and painting the walls. And this is my, my favorite thing. It's a window into the living room and I just love light. So it lets in a lot of light from the big living room window. And we also have a little tiny western window light which lets in the sunset and it's gorgeous. Okay, now we are entering into the favorite room which is my domain. The favorite room is the living room. Um, it's got a lot of boxes because we haven't finished working so we can't put anything anywhere but as you can see the the big picture windows are just pretty phenomenal and it's, it's really a lot of window. And we're right on a very, very beautiful street. I hope you can see out there. This is the um, south side of the house. So, and we're right on the edge of a, a kind of a, well, it's like a national forest. I'm calling it that. I don't know if it's a national forest, but it's incredible forest. 
it's the beginning of the Ardennes, and it's just beautiful. And then here we have the uh, western view from our living room window, and we're looking right down on an incredibly gorgeous park. You can just see the treetops right now. So that's it. I want to just say um, thank you for watching my home improvement video, and I'll take you around when we're all done.